So tax rate structures. There are three different types of tax rate structures, progressive, proportional, and regressive. Um, we're gonna start talking about the progressive tax rate structure. And what defines a progressive tax rate structure is that as income or the base, we'll talk about the tax base, and the tax base is whatever it is that's being taxed. In this case, we're talking about income, right? Tax base could be value of property. It could be the value of a sale. When you pay sales tax, you're, the tax base there is the cost of whatever it is that you purchased. In this case, our tax base is the income. So as income increases, the rate increases. So this is what we have in the US. And these were our, this is an example for married taxpayers, and it makes a difference whether they're married or not, and you'll, we'll talk more about that as we go along. For married taxpayers, these are the income ranges that correspond with the tax rate that they're paying. So you'll see here up to, so from zero to 22,000, and we call these brackets. These are tax brackets from zero to $22,000 of income in 2023, the tax rate was 10%. That's pretty easy to calculate, right? So they had income of $20,000, we're talking about $2,000 of income tax. And this is taxable income. As we increase our income though, the rate is also going up. So if we have $50,000 of income, taxable income, that means that the amount between 22,000 and 50,000 is going to be taxed at 12%, but our first 22,000 is going to be taxed at 10%. So you still get even if your income is way up here on these other on these lower brackets of income you're still getting the benefit of these lower tax rates. So your marginal tax rate is just the tax rate within which the last dollar of income falls. So if my income is $50,000, that falls between 22 and the 89,450, my marginal rate is 12%, right? As, and, as, and we're gonna talk, that's, remember I, I, I mentioned marginal versus average tax rate. We're gonna look at what that calculation is um, here in a minute, but you can see, so as the income goes up, the rate also goes up. That's progressive. Iowa currently has a progressive tax structure, but we are, I think it's starting next year. I don't know if it's 2025 or 2026. When I said that in payroll, I took a short a second, guessed myself, but we are, we currently have a progressive tax rate structure, but we are moving to a, a, um, proportional tax rate structure, which is a flat tax. Okay, so let's look at an example here. We've got Mary and George. They have taxable income of $375,000. Good for them. That means that their last dollar that they earn of that 300, there's 375 dollars is going to be taxed at the 32% tax rate. But not all of their income is taxed at 32%, right? Only the amount that exceeds 364,200 is gonna be taxed at 32%. The amount of their income that's taxed between 197,51 and 364,200 is taxed at 24%, and so on and so forth. Oh, hi, George. Oh my gosh, Kel, sorry. <laughs> I, I, was waiting for, I was waiting for you to recognize me. We went to college together. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Um, I knew he worked here. It's been a long time since I've seen him though. Um, okay, so and this is then this is the calculation of how that would work. So you would calculate each of these brackets separately. So their first $22,000 taxed at 10%. 
will result in $2,200 of tax. Next bracket, we're gonna look what whatever that range is. So you're gonna have to take the top number here minus what was already in the other bracket and the difference is the amount that's taxed at the new rate, okay? Between 190 and 750 and the 89,450, it's taxed at 22%. So that income range multiplied by the 22%, now they're at $22,286. Same thing for the 24% range. And then the amount that exceeds that bottom number in the 32% range minus, or the, the 375 minus that bottom number is taxed at 32%. So for their total, and then you would add it all up, their total tax liability, 77664 Now, if we were to, how much is 375 times 32%? Somebody can do that to me because I don't have my calculator with me. So they have income of 375. 138750 138750 but their liability is 77664 so they are not paying 32% in tax right that is their marginal tax bracket they're paying 77664 because we're using their because that's what they get to with their marginal within their marginal bracket if this was all at 32%, they'd be paying a lot more, okay? So that is a feature of the progressive tax system is the higher the rate, I'm sorry, the higher the base, in this case, the income, the higher the tax rate, but you still get the benefit of those lower rates on the lower amounts of your income. Questions? No? All right, so this is kind of an example of the fact that their, their total tax liability is not 32%. What percent is it? This would be how we get to their average tax rate. We're gonna take, we would calculate first the total tax liability and then divide that by the amount of their total amount of income. So what is that? So we're talking 77,664, don't look at your book. Divided by 375. Sorry, sorry to squeak. Somebody with a calculator do that for me. What's the math on that? I'm sorry, 77. 664 divided by 375. 20.71. Their average tax rate is 20.71%. So big difference between what a marginal tax rate is and what an average tax rate is. The only time that an, a marginal tax rate is going to equal an average tax rate is when you're in the very first bracket. When you get beyond the first bracket, your marginal tax rate is always gonna be higher than your average tax rate. Does that make sense, math-wise? So that's progressive. That's a feature of the progressive tax system. And I think they did that, yeah, 20.71 is their average tax rate. Uh, more statistics about how much, uh, the number of returns in each, this was for 2021, number of returns um, versus total tax liability. Let's see, so adjusted gross income under 15,000, there were 30,714,000 returns. Average tax rate was 9.94%. 15 to 30, average tax rate was 8.26%. We're 
we're talking average, not marginal. 30 to 50, 8.85%. Be interesting to dig into why that went down. that has to do with earned income credit. Um, 50 to 100, 11.3 was their average tax rate. 100 to 200, 14.37. And then you get 200,000 or more. Your average tax rate was 25, over 25%. All right, 